Hey y'all, let's take a look at two things today. One's multiplication and one's division. And the multiplication is not that big of a deal. The division is not really that big of a deal. But at first, you're going to be look at this like, what on earth is this? If you don't get it right exactly, fine. In the first couple of weeks, don't sweat it. Force yourself to look at the steps over and over. And what will happen is over, I would say, probably three or four weeks, maybe five that you will get the steps to this division down to where you've got it and you don't have any problems with it. And you'll look back and go, man, how did I, how did I not know how to do that? At first, it can be a little bit frustrating, but don't sweat it. It'll all come through. I'd say four or five weeks, you'll have it done. But let's look at this very quickly first. At some point in the past, which you don't have to write this down. <coughs> at some point in the past, somebody said three plus two is five. And then 5 plus 7 is 12, minus 4 is 8. So 5 plus 8, the answer to this is 40. But somebody was probably piddling around, looking at this and going, you know, I'm, I'm going I'm to mess with this first. I'll do the 3. I'm, I'm just going to take turns going all the way through this one. So 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. All right? I'm going to finish with that one. I'll do the 2 now. 2 times 5 is 10. Uh, 2 times 7 is 14, and 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And somebody went, okay, let's see this out. 15 plus 21, 36. 36 minus 12, 24. 24 plus 10, 34. 34 plus 14, 48. 48 minus 8, ooh, look at there, is 40. And they went, wait a minute. If this works for numbers, all my dreams have come true because it will work for variables as well. And that's what we're going to do. So when we have something like this, and go ahead and pause and copy, it'll work just like the actual numbers did. In other words, you're just going to take the 2x right here, and you're going to go all the way through with those three. When you're done with that one, you'll take the 2 and do exactly the same thing, and you'll combine any like terms. Well, let's go ahead and start with the 2x at first. So 2x times 3x squared is 6x to the third power. 2x times negative 5x is negative 10x to the second power. 2x times 2 is 4x. Okay, done. Now let's go with a 2. 2 times 3x squared is 6x squared. 2 times negative 5x, negative 10x. And 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, well we only have one term that has uh, an x to the third power, so we'll do that. Boink. Negative 10x squared, positive 6x squared, gives you negative 4x squared, done and done. Now we have a 4x and a negative 10x, and that'll give us negative 6x. And then there's a positive 4 at the very end, and there we go, that's it. Okay, let's see how that works. Okay, multiply one, then the other, then add your like terms. And just a minute here, <clears throat> excuse me, just a minute here, we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna take this and divide it by something like that. And you'll see how this works in just a minute. All right, let's do another one. Um, and again, you can treat this exactly the same, uh, what we just did. In fact, you know, here's a, here's a suggestion. Anytime you have a something in parentheses with three terms, and there's another one with two terms, it might be easier to visualize doing this if you just move that x minus two, for example, to the front. So you could just move it right here, like it's x minus two, and then get it out of there. Okay, so let's do the x first, all the way across. So x times 3x squared is 3x cubed. Uh, x times negative 2x is negative 2x to the second. And x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Now we're done with the x. Now negative 2 times 3x squared is negative 6x squared. Now we're done with that totally. Negative 2 times negative uh, 2x is positive 4x. Done. And negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Okay. We well, you know there's nothing else left with a positive 4. Let's look at this uh, 3x cubed. There's only one of those. Squared and a squared. That gives us negative 8x squared. Then negative 2x plus 4x is positive 2x. And then plus 4. And there we go. And that's our polynomial. There we go. All of us do it. All right. Let's do this first. Take a piece of paper. Pause it. And go ahead and do this division problem. Just do long division on a piece of paper. Just go ahead and pause it. And then unpause when you're finished. Okay, well, we know that the uh, algorithm, in other words, the method, we know. 
It was like this. We take 8 into 17, we go, that's, good, that's 2, I put that right above the last digit. Then I multiply, right? 2 times 8 is 16, and I put the 16 underneath there, and I subtract, and I get a 1. Then I drop this 5, then, then my division becomes this divided by that. 15 divided by 8 is 1. 1 times 8 is 8. And I subtract again, right? Oh, there we go. And, and I go like that, and then that's a 72, and I go, uh, oh, was that right? Yeah. 8 into 72 is going to be 9, and I can just stop right there. Let's say, if, let's say I had a 3, for example. If I went 9 times 8 is 72, oh, 72, and then, oh, 0, then I drop a 3, okay? Well, I would have kind of, you know, a, a whole different setup, wouldn't it, right? You're going to have all kinds of different things that we're going to see in just a second how they work. But if you know how to do, we can for, forget this part, if you know how to do division of regular numbers, then division of polynomials is exactly the same thing except for a little different. Okay, well, let's do this, all right? We're going to look at a, an equa or excuse me, a division problem, and we're going to treat it just like it's a division of a regular old number that we've done before a million times probably, all right? And here's what we're going to do. We're going to compare this um, to a division problem that we just did a minute ago, all right? And so, for example, let's go ahead and write this down. And I want you to write down the steps to you. I've simplified these steps for you. Here they are. You ready? Okay, so in your notes, and again, here you should be having your notebook. It should look like this. And at this point, you should have a 16 here. And when you have when you do problems with a little 16 in the future, you can go back to your notes and look at these steps and do them. Okay, let's for example, uh, not for example, these are the steps. Number one is you're gonna put your terms in descending exponent order in descending exponent order. In other words, you're gonna go the x to the third first, then x squared, then x, then x to the zero. In other words, there's gonna be no x there at all. Okay, second is set up and work as a long division problem, which I'll show you exactly how to do that in a second. And again, you know, pause and copy this down if you need to. Third is divide only x's into x's. Well, you'll see what that means in a minute. Fourth is multiply x's and numbers, all right? So let's do this. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do one uh, problem next to another just so you can kind of see what's going on. All right. So step one, look at that. Descending exponent order. So let's go ahead and do this part right here. And we'll go, let's say, 5x to the third. And then next will be negative 2x squared. And then plus 5x. I just wrote all of those too close to the top. <laughs> Let me try it again. All right, I got 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x and then plus 2. Okay, I'm going to divide by negative 4 plus x. Now here's how I'm going to write the other part. Now watch this. You copy this for every time you do it from now on. Even though the negative 4 is first, always write it so where it's the x first and then the minus or plus or whatever. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just do some 1, 2, 3. I'll do a 7 over here into, I don't know, 3, 8, uh, I don't know, 3, 8, 9, 0. We'll do it like that, and we'll see how we, how we work it. How about, okay. All right, so let's do this first. 7 goes into 38 five times, right? Okay, well, let's do this. X goes into 5X cubed how many times? In other words, over here, you would go 5X to the third, divided by x. That gives you 5, right? x squared. So you're going to write, I'm going to do this a different color so you can see a little bit better. So I'll write 5x to the second power, right? Now over here you go 5 times 7 is 35. I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to subtract, all right? Over here you're going to do exactly the same thing. When you multiply, however, you're going to not just divide this by that, when you multiply, you'll multiply both of those terms. So you're going to write 5x squared times x, which is 5x cubed, and then 5x squared times negative 4, that's negative 20x squared. All right, that makes sense? Now you subtract over here. Now let's go back to another color. Over here, we're going to subtract and then drop down the 9. 
Then over here, we're going to do exactly the same thing and make sure the minus applies to everything across, number one place for mistakes. This turns into nothing, right? That minus that is nothing. A negative two x squared minus a negative 20 x squared is the same thing as negative two plus 20. So that's gonna be 18 x squared. And now we're gonna drop the five x, just like we dropped the nine over here, okay? Now let's go back over to our right. Now our problem becomes what? The seven gets divided into what? The 39, right? So seven into 39, is also five. Okay, so let's do that again. So x, I'm gonna divide that into 18x squared. Well, 18x squared divided by x is 18x, right? Okay, well, let's go five times seven is 35, and I'll put it right here, and I'll subtract again. I'll get that in a second. Okay, so I'll go 18x times both of these. So 18x times x is 18x squared, 18x times negative 4 is negative 72x. Okay, I'm going to subtract. That means I'm going to subtract here too. All right, there we go. 18x squared minus 18x squared, 0. You're going to find that every single time, these first ones always cancel out. Now, 5x minus negative 72 is the same thing as 5x plus 72. That'll give you 77x, all right? Now, once I get the subtraction here is 4, then I go, that's going to be a 40. All right, I subtract, oh, look at here, same thing, I get that, and I drop this down, and then there we go. Okay, now over here, well, on this side, what do I divide 7 into now? 40, right? 7 goes into 40, well, I'll be jiggered, it's another 5, okay? 5 times 70 excuse me, 5 times 7 is 35. I'll do that. Okay, so this into that. So let's do it again. x into 77x. That just is going to be 77, right? And then I'm going, since I multiplied 5 by 7 and it went like this and subtracted it, I'm going to go 77 times this and subtract it. So 77 times x is 77x. And again, this is always the same, the first one. 77 times negative 4 is negative 308. And you can all, if you want to like, use a calculator on those, you can, that's fine. All right, then I'm going to subtract, right? So I subtract, and I'm going to get 5 left over. And this always goes away. And 2 minus negative 308 is the same thing as 2 plus 308, which is 310, all right? And over here, we kind of have a remainder, right? Now, sometimes in the past, you would do a decimal, then do then add a zero, then do that. Or what you can do is you can say, well, there's a remainder of five over seven, right? Plus five sevenths, because that's what's left over. This number over that number. Well, that's exactly what you're gonna do here. You're gonna have a remainder, because we're done dividing, there's nothing left to divide into. So we'll have plus, and then we'll have 310 divided by, you tell me, <coughs> x minus four. There we go. And that's the algorithm for doing that. Kind of weird at first, but really there are two steps. You divide and you multiply. You divide, subtract, it's the same, well, divide, subtract, multiply, boom, boom, over and over and over. So let's try another one, all right? So pause and copy if you need to. Now this one's weird, right? This is a little weird. This is something, there's something missing here. What's missing on this one? That we had, we had on this one, we don't have it here. What's missing? X squared's missing, right? and x to the one power, right? So what we're gonna have to do is, we're gonna have to put in little placeholders for these in our division problem. So first off, we know what to do on the outside, right? We're gonna have x, and we're gonna have a minus two, that's on the outside. On the inside, we're gonna have to have, okay, that's gonna be just x to the third. Well, you tell me how many x squareds are there? Zero, right? So we're gonna actually put zero x squared. We're going to also put zero x's, and at the very end, we'll put a negative six because it's, it's sitting there. Okay, and that's what we'll do. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, let's go right back at it. All right, so we'll, we'll divide first. x goes into x cubed how many times? x squared, right? Okay, 
Now, we're, every time we multiply, we multiply by both of these terms. So x squared times x is x cubed. In fact, you don't, even have, to, you don't even have to think about multiplication. Just write this number again down there. It's always the same thing. x squared times negative 2 is negative 2x squared, right? All right, now let's subtract. All right, and I'll go ahead and there we go. I'll keep the colors different so we can kind of keep this visual. This subtracts always goes away. 0 minus negative 2 is the same thing as 0 plus 2, so we have 2x squared. Now we go, yoop, and we, you know, carry down the 0x. Okay, now we will divide x into what? Now what's it get divided into? Right here, right? So 2x squared divided by 1x is just 2x. And then we take this 2x and we multiply both of those and you stick it right there. So 2x times x, 2x squared, notice, exactly the same thing. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. And we will subtract the entire thing. I always put parentheses just because if I don't, sometimes I forget to, you know, apply the negative all the way across. That always goes away. 0 minus negative 4 is 4. Then I go year down there, that's my 6, okay? Now you tell me, what is the, what's this x now divide into? Divides into 4x, right? So let's go ahead and 4x divided by x is 4. All right, and now we're going to multiply the 4 by both of these again. And this is just going to be 4x, of course. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And I'm going to subtract the whole shebang here. There we go. And that's gone. A negative 6 minus a negative 8 is the same thing as a negative 6 plus an 8. That's going to be 2. And so I have plus, as my remainder, plus 2 over, and then x minus 2 is my answer. So there we go. Okay? That's how you divide polynomials. Again, don't be, you know, if it takes you a couple of weeks to get down the algorithm of this, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But make sure you write these examples so you can see exactly what's going on. If you need to write arrows, what's going on, pause this thing, and, you know, just do exactly the same thing. You'll be in good shape. Okay. All right, we'll try just one of these, and uh, we'll call it a day. So pause it and try this uh, practice problem. All right, well, the, you know, we're going to have to write this in a way that's, you know, makes it easy for us. So let's go ahead and write the x minus 3 outside here. And then here, like that, and 4x cubed will be first, and then negative 3x squared is next, then positive 7x, then plus 3. Okay. All right, well, let's try x goes into, um, I don't know, let's try purple this time. x into 4x cubed will be 4x squared. Now, I'll multiply this by both of these. This is always the same. 4x squared times negative 3 is negative 12x squared. And notice, every single time you multiply these, every, you know, every column lines up nicely and you can subtract the like terms. Okay, so let's go ahead and subtract. That's obviously gone every single time. And the negative 3 minus negative 12 is going to be 9x squared. This drops and turns into 7x. Okay. All right, now we're going to uh, divide this x into 9x squared, which gives you plus 9x. And then 9x times both of these will give you 9x squared and minus 27x, and we subtract. Always gone. 7 plus 27 is going to be 34 because we're subtracting a negative 34x, and then I you drop the 3. Okay, well, let's try it again. x goes into 34x. How many times? Well, it goes 34 times, right? So there's my 34. And I multiply this by both of these. This is always the same. And 34 times negative 3 is negative 102. And there we go. And the last thing I do is go 3 minus negative 102 is 105. And I'll put that as my remainder. That's going to be 105 over x minus 3. Done and done. Okay. All right. Work on that algorithm. You'll have a couple to do today. And uh, knock those out. And I'll see you next time. Y'all have a great day.